Hey everyone, today is the real day that everyone's been waiting on, and that is because it's my birthday. Now, just kidding, uh, not really, it is actually my birthday, but today we're going to talk about Aria. Um, so she is currently War Eagle 8, and she's the one we're going to learn more about today. So this is Aria, A-U-R-E-A, -E which means golden in Latin. And Aria came to our facility in 2016 with a wing injury. Uh, she injured her wing out in the wild. She was found near Selma, Alabama with a fractured wing. Uh, and she was brought to our facility and our veterinarian did his best to try and fix that wing up, um, heal her. Unfortunately, it just didn't quite heal correctly. And so she has limited flight ability, so she couldn't be released back into the wild. You know, we've talked about that raptors really need to be almost 100% to be able to be released back into the wild. If they're not 100%, they'll likely not survive out in the wild. They just have a really rough, hard life in the wild. And so if they can't hunt successfully, if they can't fly like they need to, they really won't survive. And so the decision was made to keep her here at our facility uh, because of that wing prop. Now being found near Selma, Alabama, that's really far south for these golden eagles. You know, they're not typically found here in Alabama. We do have a small population like we've talked about. Uh, we mentioned that the State Department of Conservation is doing some research and tracking them. Uh, they're doing great stuff with that. Uh, but they're just not very common here in Alabama because there's too many woods, too many trees. Like I said yesterday when we talked about Nova, uh, they're catching things like the rabbits, the large mammals. Usually those are in the woods here in Alabama. And so they just don't have a great area, a great habitat to fly around in and catch all their food items. They need the wide open deserts, grasslands, mountain ranges, places like that in order to be able to hunt a lot better and have a lot more success when they're out hunting. And so they typically live further north or out west is where you're going to be finding them. Now, Ara here, we believe that she is a juvenile. She should be turning an adult this year. We're not positive about that. Uh, it's really hard to age them, but she still has a good bit of white coloration on her tail. Uh, and then her eyes are also still kind of brown. Uh, you really can't see it too well. They're turning a little goldenish, uh, but they should have that yellow ring around their eyes like Nova has once they're an adult. Now, that doesn't always happen, but they should and so we're hoping that they turn yellow uh, and then we'll know that she is about five years old now she weighs in at about eight pounds and has a six and a half foot wingspan and so she is our largest eagle that we have and like we said in the past you know the females typically are larger than the males and so that's why she is a good bit larger than nova is you can see those talons on her really sharp grabbing. She's got the longest talons of any of ours. So that back one is about two and a half inches long. And so this bird is made for killing. Again, killing a lot of those larger animals. Now she began flying in 2018. Uh, she flew the very last game of 2018. Uh, but then her first real season of flying was last year, 2019, where she Now, even though she began flying in 2018, she wasn't named War Eagle 8 until last year at the Samford game. So November 22nd, 2019 was when she was officially named War Eagle 8, and she took over the majority of the responsibilities from Nova since he does have that heart condition. Uh, now, Nova still gets out. He still goes around to shows and things like that. Uh, and so he's War Eagle Emeritus. And then Aria here is the official current War Eagle, War Eagle 8. Now, if you want to see either of these Eagles or even Spirit and Independence, you know, I encourage you to come to our Football Fans and Feathers presentations on the Fridays before home football games. That's a really great opportunity for the public to come out to the Southeastern Raptors Center and see these birds up close. We always have one of our eagles there. We never really know which one we're going to bring, uh, but we always have at least one of them there. And then about nine or so of our other raptors, lots of them flying right over your head. And so that's a great way to see these birds 
up close is by coming to that event. So that's a little bit about Aria. Uh, now that's the last bird that I really have to talk about. Uh, so I don't really know how often we'll be keep doing these videos. I'm gonna try and do them as often as possible, think of different topics, but it may not be every weekday anymore since I've now run out of birds. We've talked about all 22 of them that I've got in my collection. Um, so I'm gonna keep trying to think of ideas for y'all to uh, watch and enjoy a little bit. Thanks for tuning in these last uh, four weeks or so. Uh, thanks for sharing all these videos. Uh, stay safe, War Eagle.